Want to study Japanese language? Visit our Facebook page at Plastone School. Or you can click the link in the description. Sign up now and create your future with us. You can also visit our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to be updated on our latest videos. Plastone Language School Incorporated. Hi, konnichiwa Aru Sensei des. Yoroshiku nigaishimas. Today we will learn how to make requests using the pattern verb te kudasai. Previously, we learned how to conjugate verbs into te form. For example, matsu it becomes matte. Yameru it becomes yamete. Suaru it becomes suatte. Now, verb te forms alone are actually commands, and it is generally used among family members and close friends. Therefore, it is improper to use it to people we are not close to. So to make it more polite, we add the word kudasai, which means please. For example, for the word suaru, which means to sit, its te form is suatte. Suatte alone is a command. It means sit or sit down. To make it more polite, we add the word kudasai. Suatte kudasai, meaning, please sit. Next, matsu, meaning, to wait. Its te form is matte. Matte means wait. It is a command, wait. Again, to make it more polite, we add the word kudasai. Matte kudasai, meaning, please wait. Next, yameru, to stop. The te form of yameru is yamete. It means stop. If we add the word kudasai, it becomes please stop. Now, let's add direct objects to the sentences. For example, please erase the board. The verb for erase is kesu. First, we conjugate it into te form, it becomes keshte, then we add kudasai and the direct object. Why to bodo o keshte kudasai? Please erase the board. Next, please close the window. The verb for close is shimeru. Then, we convert it into te form, shimete plus the word kudasai and the direct object. Mado o shimite kudasai. Please close the window. Last example. Please open your book. The word for open is akeru. We convert it into te form. Akete plus the word kudasai. Akete kudasai. Please open. Then we add the direct object. Hon o akete kudasai. Please open your book. Now it's your turn to answer. How do you say, please write your name? Please study Japanese. And please throw the garbage. I'll give you time to answer. Okay, time's up. The answer is... Namai o kaite kudasai. Please write your name. Gomi o sutete kudasai. Please throw the garbage. Nihongo o benkyo shite kudasai. Please study Japanese. Just a short note before this video ends. The pattern verb te kudasai, which means please, cannot be used to instruct superiors. 
We have the pattern verb te kudasaimasen ka, which means could you please? And it is usually used with the expression sumimasen ga. I'm sorry, but or excuse me. For example, you are a student and you want your teacher to sign something for you. You cannot say kore o sign shite kudasai. Please sign this. To make it more polite, we say sumimasen ga kore o sign shite kudasai masen ka. I'm sorry, but or Excuse me, could you please sign this for me? But aside from this, there are more polite ways to make requests. But for now, that's it for verb te kudasai. Hai, aru sensei desu. Domo arigatou gozaimasu.